Thanks for joining us everyone. I'm Ann McGill. First at noon, you don't have to wait until November to vote in your local elections. You can start casting your ballot today. Early voting opened statewide this morning and will remain open for two weeks. So that means you have until November 3rd to head to the polls between 8.30 a.m. and 5 p.m. All you need to bring with you is a form of photo identification. Now, if you don't know where your polling spot is, well, you can contact your local elections office or check our website at live5news.com for a list of tri-county voting locations. Voters in North Charleston will decide who will be the one to succeed Keith Summey as the city's next mayor. Summey has been serving North Charleston since 1994. Ten candidates vying for that position. They are former North Charleston Police Chief Reggie Burgess, Russell Coletti, Councilwoman Rhonda Jerome, Curtis Merriweather Jr., retired Summary Court Judge Stephanie Ganaway Paisley, former Councilman Todd Olds, Charleston County Councilman Teddy Pryor, John Singletary, Reverend Dr. Samuel Watley and nonprofit founder Jesse Wilson. Over in Charleston, voters also head to the polls to choose between six candidates for mayor. They include former state representative William Cogswell, Mika Gadsden, attorney Deborah Gammons, Clay Middleton, Charleston City Councilman Peter Shayed, and incumbent mayor John Tecklenburg, who is now seeking his third term. Now, if you're not able to vote in person for the upcoming elections, you have until Friday, October 27th, to request an absentee ballot. And once you get that in the mail, you have to make sure that it is received by 7 p.m. on Election Day, which is November 7th. You can return that ballot either by mail or in person. If you end up going in person, make sure to bring a form of photo identification with you. For more information on voting, head to our website at live5news.com.